A decade may not seem like such a long time, but when you think of the way technology changes on a daily basis, you can understand that there has been an enormous amount of development happening in the medical field. Let's sanitize our hands before going on this medical journey. Incredible medical developments from the last decade. Augmented Reality Augmented reality isn't reserved for entertainment purposes and gaming. It has been in use in the medical field for some time. Technology, like AccuVein, already helps map out patients' veins for nurses, making it easier to be accurate with needles. But augmented reality is making strong inroads helping plan surgeries, map out procedures, and help patients visualize their treatments. Medical students are able to use augmented reality to practice certain surgeries and dissections. Google and Samsung have already filed patents for lens implants, that monitor glossoma and deliver medicine. But perhaps it will be a while before they add some augmented reality element into the devices. Cure for Hepatitis C Contracting Hepatitis C used to be nearly incurable and was responsible for 12,000 deaths a year. Until now, the only cure was a heavy antiviral drug treatment program. The strict regimen took a year to complete and had major side effects for the patient. It was only successful in some cases, with 30% of patients remaining incurable. Enter Sofospavir, the daily dose game changer, which after 12 weeks had raised the cure rate of Hepatitis C to 95%. It is a miracle worker in its own right, leading the way in eliminating hep C in the long run. The antiviral drug works by blocking the actions of the proteins or enzymes that the hep C virus needs to replicate. These are the cells that infect liver cells. Sofospavir is also effective against all six major strains of hepatitis C, not just one like other treatments. Mobile Stroke Treatment Units there is no time to waste once a stroke starts. Every second could mean serious brain damage. That is why the development of the concept of mobile stroke treatment units, or MSTUs, could be the difference between life or death for stroke victims. These mobile units would be staffed with paramedics, a nurse, and a medical imaging specialist or other relevant emergency staff. From the first report of help needed through a call center like 911, the MSTU is mobilized to get to the patient's home as soon as possible. The crew can diagnose the cause of the stroke with all the right equipment on board, and then administer the correct treatment to stop the blood clot causing the stroke. Once the patient is past the worst, they can be transferred to the hospital. Ultrasound Alzheimer's Disease Studies into Alzheimer's relief have uncovered some great results with the use of ultrasound treatments. Alzheimer's is a disease that affects one in three seniors. The result of Alzheimer's is a lack of mental functioning and sometimes dementia. It can be a debilitating illness for both patient and family. Alzheimer's is caused when amyloid plaques clump around neurons in the brain. New research has found that the sound waves generated by ultrasounds cleared amyloid plaques in mice. Three quarters of the mice tested better on memory tests after the treatment. The ultrasound causes no damage to surrounding tissue and costs less than existing drugs that offer the same relief. The challenge now is to find the right dose rate for humans that have much thicker skulls and more sophisticated brains than mice. But the prognosis looks positive. Male birth control Soon, contraceptive pills will be the choice of both male and females. New studies have shown promising results in halting sperm production. The daily pill is taken and causes the male testosterone levels to lower to that of a prepubescent male. The pill is known as DMAU, and while research continues with longer-term studies, there is hope that it will soon be considered safe for the market. Minimally Invasive Surgery Gone are the days of unnecessary scars from surgeries as surgeons develop new and innovative ways to conduct the same surgeries without making large incisions. You might have come across keyhole surgery to remove someone's appendix, but how about a kidney removed by only a single incision in the patient's belly button? Well, that is now a reality. Then, even less invasive, is a new method called Natural Orifice Transluminal Endoscopic Surgery, or NOTES. NOTES uses natural orifices like the ear, nose, mouth, anus, or vagina to enter the body cavity. The incision is made through the walls of these orifices, which heal easier and don't leave any outward scars. The recovery is far shorter with a less painful surgery, requiring less pain management medication, so fewer side effects for the patient. Seizure Stoppers Another incredible internal innovation is the Neuropace RNS system. 
This company has revolutionized how epilepsy is treated and is leading the way in improving the lifestyle of seizure sufferers worldwide. The RNS system is a device implanted in the patient's head that continually monitors brain waves. It emits electrical pulses as soon as it detects unusual activity and stops the seizure before it starts. This is the world's first closed-loop brain-responsive neuromodulation system that could potentially change the lives of the 50 million people worldwide who have epilepsy. Doctors will also be able to review a wide amount of brain activity data, giving them insight into the inner workings of this complex condition. The science and technology behind this system has a lot of positives for other areas of medical science. It is being considered to treat disabling psychiatric and neurological disorders that millions of people struggle with daily. Handheld Health Test Perhaps Star Trek Galaxy has inspired the latest advancement in handheld medical technology. The device we are referring to is the Tricorder, used by Dr. McCoy, aka Bones. He wielded the spiffy medical calculator that could produce the vital signs and detailed health of anyone by aiming it at their skin, like it was a barcode scanner. Recently, Qualcomm set a prize amount of $10 million to incentivize anyone who might be able to invent a working version that can detect 30 medical conditions and monitor five vital signs independent of healthcare professionals. Soon, the tricorder will be a reality. Teams from across the world have been competing to develop a functional prototype of this portable medical tool. The device needs to be able to diagnose health conditions, take real-time vital signs like blood pressure, and most importantly, be completely portable like a phone or tablet. Genome Editing Imagine being able to pinpoint the exact gene in your DNA that causes a disease and be able to eliminate it. Well, CRISPR is a method of genome editing that the Salk Institute of Scientists have been working on. It directly targets the DNA in diseased cells. The result? They were able to restore healthy levels of protein to the neurons affected by frontotemporal dementia. This isn't the first time the CRISPR method has been used in this way. However, the level of accuracy and safety that the team achieved was groundbreaking stuff. Brain Implants We discussed the pacemaker and how it can give a struggling heart a new lease on life. But how about we applied a similar concept to the brain? A kind of pacemaker to help boost the memories of people who have conditions that are affecting their lives. A new product, funded by the US Department of Defense, has been successful in boosting the memory of people suffering from Parkinson's, Alzheimer's disease, and epilepsy by up to 15%. Not a bad amount, given that these are early days with regards to this technology. The device sends electrical pulses into the head, providing deep brain stimulation, which can be calibrated to aid a number of conditions. Let's hope this is given the go-ahead. Superbug Drug Superbugs are emerging faster than ever before, and they sweep through open plan offices and congested airports faster than you can say Jiminy Cricket. For more than 30 years, there have been no new advancements in discovering new classes of antibiotics. Many of the current bugs have built up an intolerance to the existing antibiotic classes, which make these infections life-threatening. The new class of antibiotic is called Texabactin and is ready to rumble against serious infections like septicemia and TB. The aim is that it will eventually treat the arch nemesis of us all, MRSA. In 2015, the University of Lincoln developed a faster and more effective way to synthesize texabactin. In 2018, the synthesized version was used to treat infection in mice, and it proved successful. Fake blood England's National Health Service, or NHS, conducted trials on 20 people in 2017. The study aimed to test small amounts of synthetic blood that was produced from stem cells. The goal was to create red blood cells that could target specific illnesses, for example, sick cell anemia. In the long term, the production of synthetic blood will allow NHS to supply transfusions to people with rarer blood types. Needle-free injections Consider your options carefully. Would you rather have a small hollow steel spear pierce your skin and administer your medicine? Or would you rather your dose hurl towards you at Mach 0.7, the same cruising speed as a commercial liner, traveling in a high-pressurized steam so hard that it penetrates your skin right down to the bloodstream? Personally, we think we will stick to the traditional method of needles. But for those of you who are not keen, Prime is launching a needle-free injection soon. Which of these developments are you most excited about? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. 1. Heart Health Recently, the University of Illinois and Washington University put in a combined effort to rethink the pacemaker. To date, a pacemaker is a small device placed in your chest, just under the skin. It sends an electrical impulse to your heart, 
and helps it beat regularly. While the pacemaker has saved many lives and improved the quality of countless others, it does have limitations. The new device that has come out of the research and collaborations by these two university departments is revolutionary in heart health. The new device is a custom membrane that slides over the patient's heart and helps regulate the heart's processes. It looks like a net of sensors and electrodes snugly surrounding the heart. The team computer modeled a first version and applied it to a rabbit's heart with success. The device was manufactured using a 3D printed mold of the heart, which allowed the researchers to create the membrane to the exact shape of the heart. The electrode sensors are programmed to automatically correct any discrepancy to the heart rate and to maintain a healthy heart rate.